Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you already know that the secret sauce to cinematic, beautiful, professional video is lighting. But the problem that many beginner videographers and new YouTubers face is that there's so many different options when it comes to lighting. There's ring lights, panel lights, RGB lights, cob lights, and probably a whole bunch more. But in this video, I'm gonna let you know exactly why the small rig RC120B is the best value video light currently available. And if you hang around to the end of the video, then I'll also let you know how to easily address the one or two minor concerns that some people have had with this light as well as other budget-friendly video lights. But before I get into the features of the light, let's get some key concepts out of the way. Your main light source is called your key light, and it's made up of three components. The light, the diffuser, and the stand. The diffusion is gonna soften the light so that it looks flattering because harsh, undiffused light is a no-no. And the larger the surface area of your diffusion is, the softer your light is gonna be. That's why I don't like those light panels and ring lights, and I won't use them unless I absolutely have no space for a large softbox. Now, if you purchase this light from Amazon, it already comes with a light stand, so you don't really have to worry about anything other than which type of diffusion you're gonna use. Small Rig makes the 85 centimeter softbox which is what I would recommend for most people. But they also make a china ball, which is gonna be better suited if you're trying to do an interview where there's two or more people and you want everybody evenly lit. Now, if you're on a super tight budget, the light also comes with a fixture for attaching one of those cheap $10 umbrellas. But if you go that route, I really would recommend getting the softbox as soon as possible as you're gonna get much more softer and flattering light that way. So now that all of that is out of the way, let's talk about some of the features that make this the best value light currently available. The light itself is 120 watts, which is 20 watts more powerful than the light that I used to recommend, the Amaran 100D. And this is considerably brighter than the 100D, which means that you don't have to crank your ISO up as high, which is gonna give you a cleaner image. This is also a bi-colored light, so you can change the color temperature from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. This allows you to easily match the color temperature to natural sunlight or various other types of lights if you're shooting indoors under multiple light sources. And I haven't seen any issues with the light flickering when shooting at 60 or 120 FPS. You can control all the settings from the back panel, but there's also an app that allows you to remotely change the settings using your phone. And another thing that I really like is that it comes with a super long cord that attaches to the power supply, but if you ever wanna take the light out of the studio, it also has the option that you can power it with a V-mount battery, which is super convenient. And the light also comes with a high quality carrying case, which allow you to easily move it around from place to place without damaging it. And considering that the light is only $260, it was really nice a small rig to include such a high quality carrying case. The softbox also comes with its own carrying case, as well as a honeycomb grid, which is gonna help shape the light so that unwanted light doesn't spill off onto your background. And compared to other softboxes I've used, this one is by far the most simple to assemble and disassemble. I could literally set this softbox up or tear it down in less than 30 seconds due to the snapping mechanism system that it has. Whereas my 120 centimeter softbox from Godox takes like 30 minutes to set up and another 30 minutes to tear down. Now considering the convenience and the affordable price of this softbox, it's extremely attractive. But if you already own another softbox or you wanna purchase a third party one for any reason, you could easily do so because the light comes with the Bowens mount. And if any of you out there happen to be Gerald Undone subscribers and you want the scientific details about this light, well, here you go. The output of the light is 52,800 lux at one meter distance. It has a CRI value of 95 plus. The TLCI value is 96 plus. It's a COB chip on board light, so the output is extremely high. Now, do I really know what any of that means? Absolutely not. But all I can tell you is that I'm satisfied with the results that I'm getting from this light. So now let me mention the two minor criticisms that some people had with this light and how to address them. The first one is that it's not a full metal construction. So you can't just toss it around or bang your buddy in the head with it. But before you think about doing that, consider that an equivalent light, which is made fully out of metal, like the Aperture 120D, is over 700 bucks, so you have to make the decision whether that extra build quality is really worth it for you or not. Now the main area of concern with these budget lights is usually this piece right here where you put the stand inside it. And the fear is that if you put too heavy of a softbox on the light, 
then this piece might eventually bend or break or something like that. Now, in the two years that I've used the Godox SL60W, which is an even cheaper light than this, I've never had that happen. And I have a 120 centimeter softbox on that thing. But just in case you're still worried, you could preemptively put on a few of these snap ties to give it a little bit of support and reinforcement. And that way you shouldn't have to worry about it. Now, the second area of concern is the fan noise. And this light is no different than many other lights I've used in that there's a slight humming sound that comes from the fan. But go ahead and put on a pair of headphones and listen in to see if the sound bothers you or not. All you have to do is just turn on the noise reduction feature in DaVinci Resolve which by the way is free and works pretty good. So for me personally, it's really not an issue. All in all, this light is the perfect balance between quality, features, and price. And that's why the best light for YouTube and videography in 2023, to me, is the small rig RC 120B. And I left links below to the light and the softbox, as well as other gear that I find valuable. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And now that we knocked out one of the most important aspects of videography, which is lighting, I strongly recommend that you watch this video right here, where I tell you about the hilarious incident that led me to a $36 shotgun microphone, which you're listening to right now, which sounds better than many microphones that cost two or three hundred dollars. Thank you for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. It's Fulan Creative, and I'm out. Peace.